Hi guys, this is a simple video to show you how to get best quality photos from your new Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. First of all, once you open your camera app, you need to make sure you are capturing photos in a pro mode. So from the main screen in your camera app, click on more and then find pro and click on it. I also recommend to set your photo aspect ratio to 4x3. Why? This is how you will use the full resolution without any crop. Other ratios are cropping your original image, so you will get lower resolution. Next step, go into your camera settings, open picture format and enable raw copies if it is not yet enabled. Every time you take a photo in pro mode from now on, your smartphone will store also DNG raw file with processed JPEG image. You can ignore other settings. Go back to your main camera window and what I highly recommend is you'll keep your ISO at the lowest possible value. I found ISO 50 to ISO 100 pretty good for every camera. I mean ultra wide, wide and tele zooms. And I will show you examples at the end of this video. Why is ISO important for the picture quality? The higher the value of ISO, the more noisy photo you will get, so keep it as low as possible. I also recommend to adjust your exposure with your EV exposure value setting. If you think your photo is too dark, you can move EV slider to plus values. If you find it too bright, you can move it to minus values. And really don't be afraid to experiment. If you think you are happy with your composition and with the brightness, Take a photo. As you can see, you can manually adjust also focus. I recommend it when you want to take a micro photo. You can also adjust the white balance, but this is really not that important when you are shooting into raw format. This can be easily adjusted in your editing software. How to edit your RAW photos? Download free software Adobe Lightroom, import your RAW photos and select the one you want to edit. It is really easy if you don't want to play with it, just click on an auto setting as you can see it here. You will get much better results comparing it to the original JPEG file from the camera. If you want to do the advanced editing, you can play with some settings adjusting your white balance, color, highlights, shadows and so on. And again, don't be afraid to experiment. So let's take a look and compare edited RAW photos to the original JPEG files directly from the camera app. What you can see is a direct comparison between the original JPEG file and RAW file in promo. It has the same settings and I edited the RAW file only by auto adjustment option in Adobe Lightroom. You can see that the smartphone is not handling the exposure very well. You can control it much better when you edit the RAW file. There is also a difference how the details and noise is handled by the smartphone and how you can control it in your editing software. You can get more detailed and sharper photos. I hope this video will help you to start experimenting with raw images. Thanks for watching.